السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ وعلیکم السلام یا ربی لک الحمد کما یمبا وی لی جلال وجی کا و عظیم سلطان اللہم ربنا لک الحمد بما خلقتنا و رزقتنا و ہدیتنا و فرشت عنا اللہ لک الحمد بل ایمان و لک الحمد بل اسلام و لک الحمد بل قرآن اما بعد فاعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری وحل العقدت من لسانی یفقہ قولی ربی زدنا علما اللہ فقیح نہ فر دین اللہ نس الکا علم نافیم و عام علم تقبل و رسکن طیبہ اللہ ثبت نائم دل موتی بلا اللہ اللہ آمین یا رب العالمین اللہ صلی اللہ محمد والا علی محمد اللہ صلی اللہ محمد والا علی محمد اللہ صلی اللہ محمد علی محمد ربی یسر ولا تسر و تمیم بل خیر لیسن نمبر ٹوینٹی تھری ان شاء اللہ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کنٹینیو وتھ جملہ فیلیا اینڈ ٹوڈے وی ول لرن دیٹ ہاؤ اٹیچ پرو ناؤن کین اٹیچ ٹو جملہ فیلیا اور افیل and the concept of outside doer. So, inshallah, very um, important concept we are going to learn. So, you, I need your extra attention over here. So, if we remind ourselves about Jumla Ismiya, Jumla Ismiya, we need a Muptada, right? We need a Khabar, and we need متعلق الخبر ایم بی کے سو دیز آر دا تھری انگریڈینٹس وی نیڈ فار جملہ اسمیہ سیم از دا کیس وتھ جملہ فیلیا وی نیڈ سم انگریڈینٹس ٹو میک آ کمپلیٹ جملہ فیلیا ہاؤ ایور وین وی ہیو دا ورڈ ناسارا جسٹ ورڈ ناسارا دس از اے فیل and fail we now know that uh, file is uh, most of the time already inbuilt in the fail so when i say nasara i have fail and i have a file and fail and file are good enough to make jumla failure we do not need anything else it will make com- complete sense However, if we want to explain more about the action or about the file, right? So then we need further information, more details, right? And then comes Maful. So basically for Joomla failure, we need a file. Uh, sorry, first we need a fail. And uh, then we need a file. And today we will know that uh, file can be sometimes outside. Okay, so far we know that whenever we have a fail, the file is inside it. When I say Nasara, what is the file inside? Hua version, right? Hua is inside and that is the file. But sometimes we can find outside door, outside file, right? So basically we need a fail, we need a file, then we need a mafool for further detail. And that is extra, right? This is extra information, basically. And then there can be jar majur fragment. If there was jar majur fragment in Jumla Ismiya, we were labeling it as MBK. But when the same jar majur fragment or zar fragment, right? Both we label as MBK. So Jar Majroor or Zar Fragment, when it comes to Joomla Failure, we are not going to label it as MBK, rather we're going to say MBF. 
what's the difference why what does mbk mean mutalik bil khabar do we have khabar in jumla failia no no so that's why we cannot say that this jar majrur fragment or zar fragment is mbk right rather it is mb f what is the f mean f is uh, stand for fail okay f stands for fail so mbf mean mutallik bil fail so same jar majrur or zar fragment if it is in jumla failia then we are going to label it as mbf who can repeat what are some of the ingredients of jumla failia i need one of you to repeat i can i can try oh go ahead saima go ahead saima is a guest today because she showed up very rarely so i'm going to ask her that oh wow okay jazakalla khair for um, giving me this love uh jumla failia needs three ingredients fail file uh, maful and uh, like in jumla ismia we say mbk mutalliq bil khabar we don't have mutalliq bil khabar in jumla failia so we say mutalliq mutalliq bil fail mbf instead of mm. mbk very good and what is mutalliq bil fail or mutalliq bil khabar what are they what are they good question mutalliq bil khabar in jumla ismia is the news about uh the the jumla like about the what the, kind of construction what kind of uh, oh jar majrur jar majrur exactly jar majrur and zarf. and yeah zarf and zarf two things jar majrur okay. and zarf yes and the fragments so these two fragments we can label them as mbk or mbf mbk in jumla ismia and mbf in jumla failia simple and easy Inshallah. and what are two important ingredient ingredients for jumla failia that we cannot have jumla failia without them what are they fail and file no fail and file fail and file fail and file okay that's it fail and file we need to make jumla is to make in order to make jumla ismia just fail and file are good enough and fa uh, file can be inside the verb right so that's it when i say nasara so i have complete jumla failure he helped when i say akala what does akala mean he ate he ate he ate akala he ate so what is this he do or file the do so akala has hua in it mm -hmm. right so this hua is basically the file of akala so this is a complete jumla failure mm -hmm. then i can further say akala and then i need to if i want to bring outside doer i can say akala zaidun but because not every time i'm going to say he ate sometimes we need to name it yes right so then we need name or some ism so when i say akala zaidun now basically zaidun is the file of this akala inshallah that is the concept today we are going to learn and then i can further further explain okay what does zaid eat okay so maybe a cake so then cake gonna be maful where did he eat in his house now in his house is what kind of construction jar majrur jar majrur so that gonna be mutallik bil fail mbf okay so this is how jumla failure is going to work so inshallah let's move on the first concept we are going to learn that uh, uh, these attached pronoun that we learn they can attach to a fail so basically attached pronoun can attach to anything am i right 
attach pronoun can attach to anything. Am yes. I right? Yes. yes. Give me an example. Yes. They can attach to any sum. By Tina, like my house. Our exactly. House. Yeah. So, Baiti is an ism and I can attach na with it mm -hmm. or any pronoun. Baitu hu, Baitu ha, Baitu huma, right? And Baitu uh, na, Baiti. So, now I'm getting it off a fragment. It off a fragment, yeah. Right? So, mm -hmm. this is the example that attached pronoun can attach to any sum. What is the example? Then, attached pronoun can attach to a fail. This is what we are going to learn today. So what is the example that attached pronoun can attach to a harf? Harf. Harf. What are harf? This is harf. So, or even inna, inna who? Right? Or I say fi he in it. Now, he and uh, attached pronoun he, now I'm making a jar major fragment. So basically, attached pronoun can attach to anything. And when I say anything, we know that in uh, uh, Arabic grammar, we have words only three kinds. They uh, are either ism, fail, or harf. So basically, attached pronoun can attach to all three. Is ev everyone clear so far? Can you please repeat that, please? Okay. How many kinds of uh, words do we know in Arabic grammar? Three. 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 What are they? Is some harf and fail. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Is some. Is some fail and herf, right? Now, these attached pronoun can attach to all three. What is the example that attached pronoun can attach to any sum? I can say Rabbuhu. Rabbuhu, right? He's Rab. So, what is happening? Rab and this attached pronoun, we are creating a Dafa fragment, right? And then with the herf, I can say fi, he. What is fi? Herf kujar. And then attached pronoun fi, he, in it. Or we say be he, with it. Right? So that means attached pronoun can attach to an herf. And now today we will know that, okay, attached pronoun can attach to a fail as well. The example is nasara. What is nasara? He helped. He helped. If I say Nasara, who? Again, no, what? he helped. He helped him. Helped him. him. Yes. He helped now him. this who is him, which is attached pronoun and which is giving us more. He helped who? Right? So this is giving mm -hmm. us a detail. Mm -hmm. And what, what do we learn about detail? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In this case, we are today going to learn the term that is basically a fool. Okay, because it is giving us a detail that uh, he helped who. So this who is basically um, a fool. So whenever we have fail plus attached pronoun, this attached pronoun is always a fool. This attached pronoun is always what? Mafool. This is the new thing we are learning today. So let's see our uh, all these uh, 14 pronoun, how we can uh, see uh, them with the fail. So nasaro who? Nasaro who? What is the translation? He helped him. And this who is, uh, he helped who, right? So I said this who is my fool, but I'm going to say, uh, uh, soon we are going to learn that there are different kinds of my fool. 
and this attached pronoun with the fail is always one kind of maful which is maful be he <clears throat> we need to memorize this term maful be he what does maful be he mean like it, it this uh, the kind of maful that is always going to give answer of what and who what and who if i say nasara he helped he helped who right so it is giving me the answer of who whenever i get the answer of who so then that ism is going to be maful be he so in this case this who is basically maful be he nasara huma who can translate that they in a to yes he helped the child so comma is going hmm? nasara huma yes he helped both of them both of them nasara he helped he both, helped both of them huma both of <clears throat> both of them so this both of them is what maful maful bihi maful bihi he helped he helped who he helped both of them when i say nasa rahum he helped all he of them he helped all of them he helped them yeah. what is this whom maful be he okay this whom is maful be he then we say nasara ha what is this ha he helped he helped her he helped her. Her. her yeah this is her he helped her now this her is mafulun bihi ha is mafulun bihi over here so basically fail and with the fail if we have attached pronoun right after it that is always mafulun bihi there is no um like a, a difference of opinion about it or nothing this is 100% there is no exception you know whatever we are learning as grammar rules there are always exceptions but not over here okay so that's why that should be perfectly set in our mind that whenever we have fail plus attached pronoun this attached pronoun is always going to be mafulun bihi same that uh, uh, same way that we learn that okay whenever we have uh, ism plus attached pronoun what is this attached pronoun status or what what it is doing there idafa prati idafa possession right there is no exception this is always idafa same is over here fail plus attached pronoun this attached pronoun is always mafulun bihi no exception so nasara huma nasara hunna he helped all, to all these ladies this hunna is mafulun bihi nasara ka this ka is mafulun bihi he helped you nasara kuma he helped both of you nasara kum he helped all of you nasara ki he helped uh, you lady uh, anti then nasara kuma nasara kunna and when it comes to ana you know that we learn that ana has two version one is ni or ye right so this ye is always going to be used with the ism that's why we say rabbi <laughs> right mm -hmm. rabbi but this ni is always going to be used with the fail so nasara ni he helped who me me he helped me me he helped me okay so this me is mafulun bihi so this nasara ni this ni is mafulun bihi over here and then nahnu would be nasarana he helped us he helped us subhanallah one small 
a word and now this is complete jumla failure we have fail we have file and we have maful subhanallah so in nasara how we gonna label if i wanna put a label over here how, how should i say that was our last class we were doing failu jumla farmadi kalho khoa very good failu madin Hello, Madin. What kind of construction it is? Idafa. Idafa. Hello, Madin. Failu. What kind of construction? Failu. Na. Failu. What kind of construction? Na. Another, another idafa fragment. Idafa fragment. Failu. Who? His file. Failu. Who? His file is nahnu. Uh, so uh, no, sorry. Failu huwa. Failu huwa. And this na is what? Maful and bihi. Bihi. This is how we should be doing it now. Any question? No, it wouldn't be failu hu nahnu. No, why nahnu? Because it says masala na. No, no nasa ra the word is nasa ra not nasa na okay i got it what you are saying okay got it thank you it nasa is one. not nasa na see the difference yes. thank you for asking this question so that would clear many minds what's the difference between nasa na and nasa ra na Yeah, What's the difference? We helped and he helped us. Yeah. But in look, how we can differentiate them? Oh, sukun on ra. Yeah. Sukun. So sukun on the last letter of the verb and then attached pronoun na. Uh, not, not attached pronoun, but this is basically the file, right? So that is basically a fail. And a file. Mm -hmm. This na is the file over here, but over here nasara na. This is attached pronoun. This na is not attached pronoun. This is inbuilt. Na for nahnu. Okay, so this is inbuilt, and but this one is basically uh, the attached pronoun, and that's why it is mafulun bihi. Jazakallah khaira. Very good. Any else? Anyone else has any question? Are we good? Alhamdulillah. Yes, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Let's do more practice over here. Now, Nasara he helped. And when I say Nasaraha, he helped her. And now, what is this her? Mafulun bihi. Mafulun bihi. He helped who? He helped her. So this ha is mafulun bihi. Okay. When I say. Nasar to who? Whenever you gonna see in Quran e Pak fail plus attached pronoun, first you need to stop. Just ignore the attached pronoun and focus on the verb first. What is the verb? Who is the uh, file in there? Okay, so chunk it down. That will make you, uh, the work easy. So Nasar to, and then who? So we know four kind of tas when we do conjugation of fail madi. Mm -hmm. Who can repeat yeah. these four tas for me? I can try. Hmm. Ta with sukun. Hmm. Here ta with. Very uh, good. Ta, mm -hmm. ta with a mm -hmm. with a. Sorry. Anta. Mm -hmm. Anti ta with e. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, ta with a dama ana. Very good. 
So Tavis Kun is here, Tavit Fata is Anta, Tavit Kasra is Anti. Right? And then fourth one is Tavit Dhamma. Dhamma. Is Anna. Okay, so whenever you see Skun and Ta, then you need to check what kind of Ta. This Ta with Skun, Ta with Fata, Ta with Kasra, or Ta with Dhamma, before them will always be a Skun in Madi. Whatever uh, uh, last letter of the verb is, they are always going to have a Skun. Skun. Uh, but not in here version. Here would be Nasarat, right? But in the other, because uh, this Skun thing happened after Hunna. Right? So yeah. that would be Nasarta, Nasarti, Nasartu. But this one would be Nasarat. Right? So uh, not over here, but in the rest of them, there would be a Skun before them. And that uh, skoon and Tavit uh, Fatha or Kasra or Dhamma, that gonna let us know, okay, what uh, pronoun is in, uh, in there. So Nasar Tu, this Tu is, uh, Dhamma is telling me that this is Anna. Right? So that's why I'm gonna say I helped him because we are always going to translate file first. What is the file in Nasar Tu? Anna. I. Anna. So that's why I'm going to say I helped and then who, this who is now, I'm going to look at the attached pronoun. This attached pronoun is him and that is basically my mafulun bihi. And how we are going to uh, write the whole term, felun. Felun madi failu hu ana mafulun bihi hu. Who is mafulun bihi? Yeah. So, okay, there are two ways to say. Either you can say fail, failun, ma, but it's not felu ma, no, that doesn't make sense. Felu ma din, right? Felu ma din, and then failu hu, ana, ana. right? This is how you, we are supposed to do it. And then who are you going to say this is mafulun bihi? Okay, next one. Nasarat. Nasaratni. This is the word. Nasaratni. I'm gonna chunk it down. I know this ni is attached pronoun. Right? So nasarat. Now Tavit Skun is he a version. Here. Right? Yeah. So now I'm going to say she helped and then I'm going to translate my full unbihi. She helped me. Me. Nasa Ratni. Next one. Who, who want to try that? Allam na kunna. We need to label it. We need to translate it. Yeah. Allam na Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead if you want. No, 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 please. Okay, okay, so alamna kuna. So mm -hmm. alamna is feral mari file who lahunu kuna mafulun bihi. We help the, we help you, lady. No, taught. Alamna means taught. We taught, we taught you, ladies. Yeah, we taught all of you, ladies. Good, very good. Next one. Allam tuma huma. Oh. What is Allam tuma? Do we know this word? Tuma. Yes. Yes. Antuma. 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 Yeah, Antuma. Antuma. You. Hmm. So try. You. Both of you. Hmm. Both of them. Yeah. Both of both them. them. Thought both of them, and how we are going to label it? Failu madin and file 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 uma antuma not antuma 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 very good failu failu antuma and uma is what 
Okay, so we're gonna say Felu Madin. Madin Antuma Filu Filu Hu Antuma. Okay, we need to say these terms properly. So Fe Lu Madin. This is a fragment. Fe Lu Madin. Idafa fragment, fail of Madi, fail of past tense. And then file who, so file is ism. And is, with ism, we have attached pronoun. So that is again Idafa fragment. So we are saying fail of Madi, fail of Madi, past tense. Its file is Antuma. Okay, this is the uh, translation. So we should be saying it and we need to know that what we are saying. So, Felu Maadin, Failu Hu, Antuma, and this Huma is Mafulun Bihi. So, we have Fail over here. We have File over here. And we have Mafulun Bihi. So, our sentence is complete. Ustada, we don't have to write uh, Maful Bihi uh, with the, I mean, when we write the Felu Maadin, Failu Hu, Antuma. Aren't we supposed to write the maful bihi huma too? That is separate. So this one is complete sentence, right? Okay. So you're gonna say felun madin failu huantuma. So this is one thing done, and now we have extra information. So that is a separate label. Okay. Okay. okay so alam tuma is one Hello, label. So this is one word. You okay. Mm -hmm. What happened? Okay, calm yourself down. Stop calling me about what Nina gets or not. I'm, I didn't give her money. Sister Kamal, I, can I, you I uh, close your mic? Who is that? Sister Kamal. Mr. Kamal. I was just here. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay, so uh, Huma is a separate label, right? Because this is Mafool. So this is a separate bucket, you can say. Alam tuma is one bucket because this is basically one word. It has a fail and file in it, right? Okay. So this is one bucket and huma is another bucket. That is maful bucket. Okay, so that's why, yes, we need to label it, but in a different bucket. Okay, is that, is that clear? Yes, alhamdulillah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, now, alam tum. So when I say Allam Tum, how are we going to label it? Allam Tum Na. Allam Tum Na, sorry. Just Allam Tum. Can, can you guys label that? Allam Tum? Failu Madin. Failu Madin. Failu Hum. Why Hum, Staima? Are we going with uh, the word underneath? Sorry, and, no, this is Allam Tum. This Tum is basically giving away Saima that this is Antum. Okay. Okay, can we can we conjugate Allama? Huwa Allama? Huma Allama? Allama. Hum Allamu. So hum, hum, hum will always end with Wow. Wow. Do we see wow here? No. No. Okay. So Allah Mu should be like that. Allah Mu. Okay. So this is how Allah Mu should go. So Allah Huwa Allah Ma Huma Allah Ma Hum Allah Mu. Then here would be Allamat Allamat. Very good. Allamat. Huma Allamata and then Huna Allamata Alam Alamna 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 Alamna. Okay, yeah. Ayn, we need to say Ayn properly, then we need to take Alamna. care of the Shadda, right? Alamna. And this Alamna, we are not going to make it long, otherwise it will be Nahno, right? So we need to make it short. Alamna. Alamna. Hmm. Yes. So Alamna is Nahno. Uh, sorry, Hunna. And after Hunna, we are on 407, right? Yes. 
so we yes. need to just add ta tuma tum ti tuma tum na so this is same tum we are adding over here ta tuma tum right do you see okay. tum here mm, yes yes so whenever yes. you see tum this is basically antum antum okay Inshallah. okay so that's why and the file is antum over here Okay, how are we gonna translate alam tum? All of you taught, because all of you is what antum. Antum. Antum is the file, right? So we need to translate file first. All of you, and then we're gonna say mm -hmm. that. Yeah, hey, just yeah, just hey, just hey. All of you taught. Okay, so I'm gonna make you. 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 So whoever yeah. you see that mic is loud, you can just mute them. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Inshallah. Okay. So we were on alam tum, right? So all of you taught. Now, what happened when we are on antums only specifically to antum and in uh, our Madhi version because uh, Mudaria the present tense would be different. No worries over there. But whenever we are on in uh, past tense and we go to this uh, antum version, and with this antum version, we need to attach any attached pronoun, then we need to make some changes. Why? Because if I want to say alam tum na, if I just attach pronoun now over here, mm. and now just say this word. You need to say alam tum. So you need to pause your tongue over here on spoon, and mm. then you need to say na. Mm. Right. But when you say alam tum na, isn't that more smoother? It is more smooth, right? It is yes, more fluent. More fluent. Yes. Alam tum na. Alam tum na. As compared to alam tum na. Alam tu mu na, our tongue is like after two. Our uh, like uh, tongue was there, and from the same spot we say tu mu na, right? As compared to alam tum na. So that is what happened. Not for any grammar reason or anything, just for the fluency, because Arabs are very particular about the fluency, right? So because of the fluency, they said that, okay, we need to bring this wow over here to make it smoother. Instead of alam tumna, we are going to say alam tumuna. And that happens only when we are on antum. Antum version. Attach pronoun antum when uh, we are attaching any attached pronoun then this change will happen and we will see that in quran a lot so that's why we need to be aware of it makes sense saima did you get it uh, a little bit i think more examples will help yeah inshallah uh, you will see more example in uh, inshallah. with the examples of the energy inshallah 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 okay so now next one Kalu. what version of mm. pronoun is in there oh. Oh, how Uma. do you Uma. no oh, no no oh, sorry Uma. wow oh, as if it's... because of wow at the end wow okay because of this wow so simon this is how it go Kala is version. Yeah. Then Humma version would be Kala with Alif. And Hum version would be Kalu. Kalu with Alif. Okay. 
No, not uh, yeah. Forget about this alif. This alif is I told you guys last class. This alif is basically telling us that this is a word. So what? Mm -hmm. How do we know this is whom? Only this wow is telling me that I am whom inside. Okay. okay. So okay. this wow is basically telling us uh, that uh, uh, the pro the file in there is whom. Okay. Okay. Now, Kalu who? So Kalu mean they said, right? Now Kalu who? How are we gonna translate? Failun Madin. Failu who? Failu who? Whom? Whom? And this who is what? Who is maful bihi? Very good. This is my full bihi. That's why we are saying this. They said, they said what? They said it. Hmm. Okay, next one. Ahasti. Now we just said that there are different kind of four different tas, right? And now this ta with kasra should be what? Anti. You female. Anti. Anti. Okay, Akhasti is anti. And then we have attached pronoun Akhasti he. And Akhaza mean he took. Akhaza mean he took. And now from there, the Hiya version is uh, sorry, Akhasti. Sorry, anti version is Akhasti. And then Akhasti he. Now this is anti, right? So we're gonna say you female took it. And how are we gonna uh, label it? Felu. Felu anti. And he is maful be he. Alhamdulillah. Next one, Vajadna. What pronoun is inside? Hunna. Hunna. Very good. Skoon and then na is always hunna. So felu madin, failu hu? Hunna. 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 And now it says vajad na na. The thermal found us. Na is my full behi. Exactly, this na is attached pronoun. This is mafulun bihi. So vajadna mean they found. They found who? They found us. Now, next one. Fakatunna. Antunna. Yes, so this tunna is telling this is antunna. Very good, Alhamdulillah. So, Felu Madin, Failu who? Antunna. Antunna. And then, Fakatunna Huma. Now, this Huma is a test pronoun. And what does Fakatunna mean? Female. Okay, so, then it's yes. This is female, but its meaning is lost. So, you all female lost. Female lost. And now, lost who? Both of them. Both of them. Both of them. See, subhanallah, little words and complete sentence and alhamdulillah, if we know that much, if we start uh, like uh, translating that much Quran Park, you're going to see so much uh, love uh, you want to feel about Quran in your heart when you would be able to just translate by your own without any uh, dictionary or anything, subhanAllah. And uh, making duas, learning duas, memorizing duas, becomes so easy and fun for you guys, inshallah. Okay, so that was the one concept that we learned that uh, fail with the fail, Sometimes we are going to see attached pronoun, and this attached pronoun is always be maful. What kind of maful? Mafulun bihi. Why mafulun bihi? 
because mafulun be he gives us the answer of who and what and this attached pronoun is always going to give us answer of who and what that's why uh, all these attached pronoun any attached pronoun which is attached to a fail that is always going to be mafulun be he now another concept which again very important and uh, that happen in quran e pak a lot is the outside doer file we know that uh, when we conjugate in verbs we have all 14 pronouns and uh, they are basically inbuilt in the fail right so when we say nasara we know that who is in there nasara this alif is basically the file so i'm saying two of them help and then nasaru they helped all of them right so i know this wow is basically is the whom version mm -hmm. but not every time you're going to say he helped and they helped and all these ladies helped sometimes we need to name them right so we need to be more particular so in that case uh, we're going to have outside doer we're going to have a file one is going to be basically obviously inside the uh, file it going to always be there but on top of that we are going to have one outside and when we have outside the job of inside pronoun whatever inside uh, uh, file was there its job would be terminate going to be terminated okay so for example when i say nasara who we just said okay he helped him but when i say nasara zaidun now how are we going to translate that he helps said no but no. zaidun is my status zaid sarafa it's a do now you tell me saima that was our uh, first uh, lesson right where if uh, first few lessons when mm -hmm. we say that our uh, the doer is always going to be rafa hmm so when i say nasara zaidun and this zaidun mm -hmm. is telling me that zaid is the doer so zaid helped him where is him him no. is mafulun mm -hmm. bihi do we see any mafulun bihi here zaid helped there is no more zaid, zaid helped. helped simple mm so basically what happened nasara has who i need but when zaidun come in the picture because now we are naming this hua as zaid so now the job of this hua is terminated hmm. so now i'm going to say zaid helped nasara zaidun and then i, I can say hamidan how we going to translate now zaid helped and not hamid yes how how do i know this uh, that uh, uh, zaid helped not hamid because that is less of status exactly so this is rafa, rafa. right then and that this is, is nasab and that was our very few basic lessons yeah right yeah. Yeah. so alhamdulillah now we are going to see them in action so zaid helped hamid so hamid is basically mafulun bihi over here okay. zaidun is a file and nasara is our fail here make sense yes how beautiful it is subhanallah fail file mafulun bihi hmm. okay so now the file is the doer of the action we know that and there are two types of file one file inside which is called the mir mustatir mustatir mean like hidden or inside you can say because uh, when we say nasa ra right the first hua version there is no indication that okay where is hua right but we are learning that okay whenever 
in Mahdi, the very first Sikha, ending on uh, just Fatha, like uh, Kataba, Nasara, right? So they have Hua version in it. And when I say Nasara with Alif, then this Alif is uh, basically the Mir Mustatir, the file inside, which is uh, Huma, right? So this is how we say that uh, file is inside. So this is... Uh, the built-in pronoun that every file contains. The mere mustatir or inside file, every file going to have. Then we are going to learn today another kind of file, which is outside file. This type of file is used when the doer is someone or something other than a pronoun. For example, Muhammad, rather than he. So rather than he helped, I'm gonna say Muhammad helped, right? So then I need to have Muhammad as a outside file. So the rules for outside file are these. What are they? It must come after the fail, not before. So this, uh, this um, outside file is always beware after the fail. If it is before the fail, then we are not going to consider as a file of this fail. So it has to be always after. Then the second condition is that it need to be marfu. For example, Zaidun. If it is Zaidun, yes, it is marfu. It is after the fail, Nasara Zaidun. Yes, it qualify for my outside door. The fail must be in either Hua or Hia version. That is very important. We are not going to look for outside doer unless we have Hua version or Hia version. For example, if I have Nasara, then I can expect outside doer. Or if I have Naswarat, then I can expect outside doer. Only Hua and Hia version, not a other version. Okay, so I have a question. Hmm? Oh, I get it. Why? Inshallah, inshallah, right. we will see more many examples and uh, that would be very clear. Number four, the fail will match the file in gender. Okay, so for example, over here, I cannot say Nasara Aminatu. Can I say that? No, no, no. it doesn't match in gender. Has one version. And mm -hmm. then I'm bringing the file feminine version. That doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they should match in gender. gender. Now let's see some examples. <clears throat> Nasara, Nasara, I, rather I should say, because it is going to uh, have idram over there. Nasara Muslimu. So now Nasara is Hua version. Mm -hmm. Can I expect outside doer? Yes. And as Muslim, does it qualify for outside doer? Yes, because it's a Rafa. Yes. Because it is Rafa, right? So In now how I'm yeah. going to translate now. This is basically my file now. This Hua is terminated. So now Al Muslim is my file. How am I going to translate? The Muslim, the Muslim helped. helped. The Muslim helped. The Muslim helped. Now, the very interesting thing over here now. Next one. Nasara, Nasara al Muslimani. What's going on over here? Nasara has Hua version, but Muslimani, how many Muslims? Two. 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 It does not matter how many people are outside doer could be plural, even though mm -hmm. we have Nasara Hua version. As long as it is. As long as it is Rafa. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. 
so it should match only in uh, status and in uh, not ma sorry match i shouldn't say it should be rafa and it should match in gender, gender. whatever version of uh, field we are using so the it should match in gender basically so nasara muslim uh, muslimani so this muslimani is the file for nasara so that's why we're going to say the two muslims helped now nasaral muslimuna is muslimuna rafa yes yes yes, yes. that is my file and they match in gender Our version okay number does not matter in that case number does not matter but gender matter i cannot say al muslimatu nasar al al muslimatu can i say that no gender why not because muslimatu is a feminine but what is what a... i need to do if i want to say al muslimatu yeah. Nasarat. Yeah, so I, I Nasarat. need to say Nasarat. 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 I need to say Nasarat then. Nasarat Muslimatu. Okay, so Nasarat till Muslimatu. Now I, I can say all these Muslim ladies helped. So do we change the ta into Kasra, Nasarat till? Or yeah, I... it will be Nasarat till. Okay. And that is just again for the fluency. Okay, no grammatical, uh, like uh, nothing to do with the grammar, but just for the fluency. Okay, then it says Nasarat. Again, I need to say Nasarat till Muslima, Muslimatu. So now Muslimatu is Rafa, and uh, mm -hmm. this is here version, right? So that means. The Muslim lady helped. Lady helped. Now, Nasaratil Muslimatani, the two Muslim ladies helped. Okay, so here version over here, then my file should be also uh, here. Any here version. It could be singular, it could be dual, it could be plural. Nasaratil Muslimatu. All these Muslim ladies helped. Now, I have over a question here. on that, uh, Ustada. Hmm? So, but it's but it's not telling you who they helped, right? Is it no? The fool is not here. Okay. This is only fail and file, and fail and file is a complete jumla failure. Uh, without knowing who has been helped. You know? no, that is extra. Yeah, that is extra information. But when I say Nasaratil Muslimatu, a Muslim lady help, this is a complete Jumla failure. That's it. For a Jumla failure, we need only fail plus file. That's it. Two ingredients. Mm -hmm. Just that, you know. Now, Kala Muslimun. How are we going to translate? Muslim helped. I mean, said. Muslim said. Ah, Muslim said. Muslim said. Right? So now Muslimun. Uh, so this kala is felun madin. Right? File who? Hua. Hua. And then Muslimun. I have rafa um, uh, isam after my fail. So this is my outside file. So that means this outside file has terminated the job of inside file. So now I cannot say he helped Muslim. No, because this Muslim is the file now. So basically, uh, uh, sorry, uh, help, uh, not helped, said, a Muslim said. So can we say Fail Madi Fa'iluhu Muslimun? 
in that case, yes, you, you can say file who hua and then you can further say Muslim on his outside file basically, or you can just uh, stop over here, fail umadin, and then you can say Muslim on is the uh, file of Qala uh, uh, or whatever. But no harm to say Ferun Madin Failu Hua because this is basically uh, uh, how we should describe Kala, and then we know that okay, there is outside doer as well. Then Kala, uh, sorry, Kala Muslimani is Muslimani Rafa. Yes, is it after the fail? Yes. yes. So that qualify for outside fire? Outside door. Yes. So how are we going to translate? Two Muslims said. Two Muslims said. Two Muslims said, mm -hmm. Muslim right? Qala mm Muslimuna. -hmm. So now Muslimuna is Rafa. Is Rafa outside door. Matching with gender, Kala is mm -hmm. the masculine, Muslimuna is masculine as well. Right? The so, Muslims this is my outside doer. The Muslims, Muslim. all the Muslims Sir. said. Kalat mm -hmm. Muslimatun. One Muslim lady said. Kalat mm -hmm. Muslimatani. Two Muslim ladies said. Kalat mm -hmm. Muslimatun. All the Muslim ladies mm -hmm. said. Make sense? That, that is not uh, tough. It's easy. Alhamdulillah. Now let's see over here. Ja ah, I'm telling you guys because uh, uh, because of the we don't have enough vocabulary yet, right? So ja ah, is basically a fail. So this mm -hmm. guy is uh, attached to him. Okay, so ja is the fail. Ja mean came. Come. So this is Felun Madin, Failu Hu. Hua. Now, ja, and what is this car doing here? Maful. Maful. Maful B. Okay, you're gonna add Maful B over here. Now, Ja Akkal Munafiquna. What is this Al Munafiquna doing here? Outside door. Because it's Rafa. Exactly. When Ja'a is our fail, right? File is inside and Ka is mafulun bihi, right? And then in Jumla failure, we can have multiple of mafuls, but maful should be what status? And he asked them, maful should be what status? Or nasab. Or nasab. Nasab. No. No, nasa. all mafuls. We are going to learn five different kinds of mafuls, and all mafuls are always nasa because they are what detail, detail, detail. Yes, detail. They are detail. Yes. detail is always going to be nasa. Yes. So, in jumla failure, listen to it very carefully whenever. You see in Jumla failure something rafa, then it should ring a bell in your head. Why is something rafa? Because we need details and details are nasab. Mm -hmm. So what is this rafa thing doing over here? And most of the time you're gonna see that this is basically the fire of mm -hmm. over there and we know that this is Hua version, so this is perfectly uh, qualifying for our outside, outside, fire. outside fire. So how are we going to translate? Munafi kun mean hypocrites. So we are always going to translate file first. So the hypocrites came to you. To you. Basically, is a jaakal munafi kuna. This is how the whole ayah start, and then it is going to give the meaning of is a give the meaning to the present uh, or rather future tense. So it is basically Allah subhanahu wa taala beforehand telling Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that munafikin would come and they will take oath and they will try to uh, uh, try to 
kind of mislead you and saying that okay we are with you and uh, we are uh, like uh, our intentions are pure and what not right because whenever they are uh, given some command especially jihad or something right and they do not want to do it but then they take oath on uh, allah subhanahu wa taala and they just uh, say about prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that oh we know that you are the true prophet and what not right but inside their heart is going something else they are not muslim by their heart right so allah subhanahu wa taala beforehand is telling prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that they will come to you and they will lie and they will just give false uh, uh, testification on you because they always used to testify that oh you are the prophet of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and sorry you are the prophet of allah subhanahu wa taala and uh, we believe you and all that stuff right but allah subhanahu wa taala is saying that they are lying because that, that is only lip service ustada i have a question hmm uh so fail and file the outside outside file it can have uh, the um, uh, maful be in between them it's, is it okay yeah yeah they can have long distance okay okay yeah so they they can be a long distance it's not that they are always going to be side by side so as long as it comes after the fail yeah exactly as long as you see something rafine status then you need to check our fail is who our here version then yes it is perfectly going to qualify for outside file okay next uh, is basically a practice we can see you know, that if there is outside door or not so in the very first one it says waqal rasulu do you think that there is outside door Yes. Yes. Where is it? Which one? Ar Rasul. Okay. How it is qualifying? It's Rafa. <clears throat> it is Rafa version. It is Rafa. after the fail. Yeah. And Rafa after version. our fail is who a version? And Rasul is the masculine, and Kala is also masculine, masculine. right? So they are matching. So how are we going to translate then? And. and the rasul said, said yes and the rasul said good alhamdulillah next one qala ibrahim ibrahim yes. said yes qala ibrahim so ibrahim is rafa in version over here right so ibrahim said ibrahim al islam then dakhalat ummatun <clears throat> the people matan entered the ummat ummat entered hmm dakhalat ummatun ummat mean people it could be nation it could be people group of people right so group entered. of people entered and we see this ummatun is feminine feminine yes. that's why dakhalat is used right and this is here version mm -hmm. so group of people entered now aflah al mu'minun the muslims are successful subhanallah believers not muslim believers. yes believers not sorry not muslim the believers are successful believers, believers. yeah believers. unfortunately Muhammad. the muslims can be munafiq and munafiqin uh, no difference they are worse than kufar worse than right? yeah mm -hmm. so astaghfirullah and uh, nifaq is the disease of the heart which no one is safe from that no one is safe from that every each one of us have some level of uh, hypocrisy in our hearts may allah cleanse our hearts amen okay number 5 razaknahum he provides us he provides for them he provides huh? he, they, he, he, he provides no, no, no. us they, we they they whom it is whom whom all okay. of them them they they okay. provide they provide 
when we have fail and attached pronoun first we need to try to just divorce them okay so you're gonna just look at the fail first and then you're gonna look at the attached pronoun if you try to look at them uh, at once then it's gonna be a tough for you guys so Razak na first we need to look uh, look at Razak na we provide them we provide we so provide. what version is it na 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 okay so failun madin failu madin failu failu na can we look for outside door no 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 okay no so in this case we're gonna say nahnu is the file we're gonna say we provided home them so this home is basically ma fulun bihi yes we have provided them we have given them this allah subhanallah قال رجلاني ٹرانسلیٹ The two men said. The two men said. The two men said. Exactly. The two men said. Masha Allah. Amanan Nasu. So what is Amana? The people believed. Believe. The people believed. Very Amen. good. How, now we need to label it. So Amana. Failu. Amana. Um. یس it is ending on madin failu huwa okay it is ending on fatha when something is ending on fatha and you know that this is fail and then it's supposed to be fail madi huwa version okay so huwa version madi always going to be ending on fatha and now annasu something mm-hmm. after the fail is rafa yeah, rafa okay outside. so that is outside yeah. file so that's outside why you must say people believed or man kind believed or whatever you gonna say now next one pala rabuka your rob said your rob said hmm your rob said So now the whole Rabbuka is the file. Idafa fragment is the file for this Kala. We cannot just say Rabbuka is the file. Why not? Because this Idafa fragment is one bucket, right? Uh-huh. Mm. So that's why the whole Rabbuka we're going to say is the file of Kala. So is, is so subhanallah what did my rab said to me we need to eager to know about it subhanallah now kadhabat samudu samudul mursalina now kadhabat what kind of pronoun uh, is it yeah Shilai. Yeah, because Tav is Skoon. Yeah. So this is here. Failun Madin, yeah. Failuhu here. Right? And then Samudu. So Samud is the outside. 
outside door. Exactly. So outside this is the file. Samud is an issue, right? Sorry. So no, Samud rejected. So the no, people sorry. of Samud or nation rejected. of Samud rejected. Rejected the messenger. Al-Mursalina. Al what status is Al-Mursalina? Muslimina. Muslimina. Hmm. So Al status Al is what? Rafa. Rafa. Allah who of the world. No, this is a, this is Nasab. Nasab, Nasab. Nasab or Jar, detail, right? detail. detail. They rejected yeah. the messengers. It could be Nasab or Jar, but there is no reason for it, this to be a Jar, right? There is no yeah. Harfu Jar. Yeah. So that's why we're going to take it as a Nasab. And Nasab is Maful. Right? So basically, this is Maful. So Samud, the nation of Samud rejected. Who do they reject it? The messengers. Messengers. So this is Mafulun Bihi. Al Mursalina is Mafulun Bihi over here. Subhanallah, you would be able to uh, like uh, translate the uh, like that uh, uh, in Quran -e Pak, the chunks of it, Subhanallah. So you guys need to work hard now. Inshallah. Yeah, these words uh, can be tricky and this is uh, when people, uh, because they do not practice much and then they leave, right? But this is, the beauty starts over here. The beauty of Quran starts here. As -salamu alaykum. As -salamu alaykum. Is this Samudu is light? Samudu is what? Is it yeah. Life? Yeah, I was because this is partly. This is partly. No, but Idafa will not make sense. Will it make sense? No, because it's not jar. Samud no, of no, it can be jar. But it is not going to make sense. Uh -huh. uh, uh, Mursalini is messenger. Messengers of Samud be rejected. Does it make make sense? No. It will reverse the meaning. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. So we need to uh, make sure that. Uh, uh, so how the match then that Kazabat is here? Kazabat is what? Because Samud is broken plural over here. Okay. Right, okay. and this is a nation, right? Yeah. So that's why it is matching with that. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. Next one, Shahida Shahidun. Shahida witness. So Shahida is the ending of witness, the sir, that witness. is telling me this is Hua version. Hua version, yes. Right, mm -hmm. and then Shahidun. A witness, witness, yeah. yeah. So, a witness witnessed, okay. So, a witness, uh, the one who like, uh, uh, like saw some even like something, right? And he, he has to witness on it, or a testifier, we can say, right? So, a testifier basically testified, testified, yeah. Now, Swada Pal Mursaluna. Now, Mursaluna. Is it Rafa? Yes. Muslimuna. Yeah. Yeah. It's so Rafa. That means this is the file. Because Sadaka is who our version. Mm -hmm. Right? So, Mursalun, the messengers, spoke the truth. <laughs> Not truthful. Spoke the truth because we need to translate like a verb right this is mm -hmm. a verb it's not uh, ism so we're gonna say the messengers spoke the truth <laughs> we say azim. right after the quran some people say mm -hmm. even though it's not from any hadith or anything some scholar says <laughs> that we should <laughs> not be saying it but uh, uh, when we say Swadaq Allahul Azim, what we are saying mm -hmm. that uh, Azim Allah, the Allah who's great, said the truth. 
Okay, uh, number 12. Amanat bihi banu Israela. So, Amanat, what version? Here. Here. Here version, Amanat. right? Yeah. So, Amanat bihi, and uh, you know, this uh, Amana fail is married with this uh, ba over here. It is always going to come with this ba, and which is going to give the meaning of believing when we are believing on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or something. But when it says amanat lahu, it can come with lam as well. That means like uh, when you are uh, uh, not believing, I should say, you are agreeing with my opinion. So basically with the people, we're going to say lahu uh, with the lam we are going to use. And uh, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or believing on some faith or something, right? So then ba comes. So Amanat Bihi So she believed in it. And who is this she? Banu Israel. What is Banu Israel? What kind of construction is it? Banu na. Yes, it's supposed to be Banuna Israel. So Ibnun is singular, mm -hmm. then Ibnani, dual, and then its plural is Banun. Banun. People of Israel. And from Banun, non is dropped, noon is dropped. So it becomes Banu Israel. Right. And, yeah, yeah, and this Banu is telling me that this is Jaffa. Otherwise, mm. it could be Bani Israel, right? We see in Quran Pak a lot Bani Israel. So that means in that case, Bani Israel is not Rafa, rather it is Nasab status, right? So now Banu Israel is Rafa over here. That means this is the file for Amanat. So Banu Israel believed in it. And why Amanat is used over here? I'm thinking maybe because of a nation. Not sure. Okay, next one. Vadar Rahmanu. We're going to just finish uh, whatever is on this slide. Wada Rahmanu. So Wada, this uh, uh, Fatah is left me. This is our version. And Ar Rahmanu. Rasa. It's a Rahman. Yeah, so Rahman, Billy, uh, sorry, uh, Rahman promised. The most merciful. And Rahman yes. promised. So Ar Rahmanu is basically the file of Wada. Qama Abdullah. Kama. Kama means to stand. And from that is come calm. Oh. Right? Because calm stands for one belief, for one cause or one mission or whatever, right? So that's why uh, calm is used for that. But this is uh, kama. This is the verb. So kama means he stood. Who stood? Abdullah. The slave of Allah. Slave of Allah. Yeah. So Abdullah stand. Uh, sorry, Abdullah stood, and that is referring to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That is in Surah Jin Subhanallah, beautiful surah. So uh, uh, these. Uh, Abdullah is Dafa fragment. Yeah, it's a Dafa fragment. So, so the whole Dafa fragment Abdullah is the file for Kama. Next one, Ja'at hum Rusuluhum. So again, Ja'at is the fail, right? So we're going to chunk it down. And whom is the attached pronoun? So Ja'at hum and then Rusuluhum. They came to the test. Okay, so do we have outside door? Yes. Yes. Where is it? Rusuluhum. Okay, so Rusuluhum. How are we going to translate? 
the messengers they are messengers to them and this home is not full of bihi right yes. so who do they came to they came yeah. to them the so this home is not full of bihi okay wakaza ba bihi qaumu ka so i see qaumu so that is telling me yes because gaza ba is who our version right so i can have outside door and this qaumu ka is the outside door how are we going to translate their people denied your nation denied yes denied it Denied it. Be he denied or rejected it. So your nation rejected it. So now, how are we gonna label it? Fail on Madin, fail who who are be he is what? No. Jar majrur fragment. How oh, MBF? MBF. Oh. And then, and Komu ka is the file of Kazaba. Oh. It has a fragment also. It has a fragment also. Very good. Now, Saalu Musa. Now, Saalu. Mm -hmm. What is the file in there? Saala. Ask. No, but what is the Uta. file over here? Saalu. Saalu. Oh. 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 Wow. Oh. Whenever you see wow, then just say wow. Oh. Home, home, home. Oh my goodness. Home, home. <laughs> home. home, home. Home, sorry, but wow. Yes. I cannot have the outsider. Exactly. Okay, so how are we going to translate now? Musa asked Musa. Uh, they Musa. asked Musa. Mm, they asked good. Musa. Subhanallah. They asked. So we have fail and file. File is home over here. So they asked, they asked who? They asked Musa. And again, it is giving us the answer of who. So again, this is Mafurun Bihi. Subhanallah. They asked Musa. Now, Kala. But, but sorry, who? I have yes. a question. You said when there is a um, outside file, mm -hmm. then we, we don't use home anymore. No? Over here, Saima. Saima, I know what you're saying. What is the file in there, Saalu? What is the file in there? Home. home. Can of we course. look for outside door? There isn't any. No. Can we look for outside door? No, it's only for who I am here. Okay. Exactly. Okay. So that's why there is no outside door in that case. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So that's why we are translating they asked. asked. And they asked who? Musa. Musa. So now Musa is not full on Bihi over here. Subhanallah. Kala lahum Musa. So Kala means Felun Madin. Failu huwa. Right? Yes. Now, lahum is what? MBF. MBF, Jad Majroor fragment, right? So that is going to be MBF. Now, what is this Musa? Musa is not a status. We need to look what it is saying. Kala lahum Musa. So they said basically. So lahum, you know, ka, with kala, who is saying basically come with lam? So they said to Musa. To Musa. You know what I'm saying? Whenever you have kala and you're saying that someone is like talking to someone, who is talking? So it's not Musa saying to them. To them? I thought because Musa is the door, I thought that would be more Oh, so Musa yes. said Lahu to Musa them. Musa said to them. Yeah, you are right. You are right. You are right. Okay, so Musa is basically then outside door over here. Right? So Lahum, I, I, I'm saying the opposite, okay? Basically, uh, with Kala, 
whenever lamb come so whoever is this lamb basically they, they um uh, whoever is talking uh, talking to them you know what i mean talk to so lamb lamb is come with, with who they are talking okay so in that case musa spoke to them make sense yes so musa is basically the Please file over me. here and okay. musa is the outside file over here okay my head is spinning now i cannot speak anymore <laughs> okay so no uh, in next class which is inshallah in 2023 now next two weeks we do not uh, going to have any class but you guys are going to attempt all these homeworks okay and inshallah we are going to take them as a class before we move on to anything else yes. because this is really important and uh, i really want that we do it together so with that homework i i'm going to add a little bit more maybe uh, just part of uh, some ayat or uh, sura whatever because we didn't do anything else like not fil uh, mudariya or anything so much to learn so i will see uh, what i can add to this and inshallah we going to do some practice of fil uh, madi with all these pronouns and uh, uh all these ingredients of fail madi and before we move on but two weeks you are going to work hard with conjugation so we have so many words for example we have over here khalaqa right so you can conjugate the whole uh, with 14 pronoun ja will be hard because this is kind of little weird so i would not recommend that you can leave that one but jala okay jala so you can do all 14 pronoun with that then it says akala akala mean to rationalize he rationalized so akala zabaha right and then akhaza iman kadiha uh adora kariha i don't know karaha yakrahu kariha yakrahu ha okay i think kariha yes someone was saying something adola yeah but that is little tricky okay so i'm giving you easy ones you can say faddala it is like allama faddala akhraja it is like aslama i think if we did that akhraja then allama and then arada arada mean to display something allama mean taught right so you should know the meanings as well baasa baasa mean to resurrect so we and even uh, wake someone from sleep for example in uh, surah kahf it is used so baasa to resurrect or uh, oh raised. they have mean, meanings over here right yeah raised why yeah so you can look at the uh, look at the meanings from there and inshallah even you ca can find more uh, fil madi uh from qurani park right so every day i would recommend at least five conjugation a day you should be doing if you really want to stick with our classes otherwise i'm telling you you're going to leave it you're going to quit it no 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 
No, please don't. Yes, I, I'm telling you guys, this is what it is happening. This is my three years experience. Um, the, we have finished my Nahu class in uh, Nahu book in other class. And you know how many students are there? Less than 15. So that's what I'm telling you about my experience. So if you really want to learn, then you need to work hard because mm -hmm. this is not any ordinary learning. For other, unfortunately, other learning, we spend too much time on them. Right, but we do not take this learning as uh, serious learning. So, inshallah, five conjugation a day I'm expecting from you guys. Inshallah, inshallah. Inshallah, okay. So, with that, uh, we can end our session. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Quran al Hakim wa nafani wa iyaqum bi ayati wa zikr al Hakim. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Nashadun la ilaha illa anta. When I stuck for Ruka, when I stuck for Ruka, when I stuck for Ruka, when I took a lake, so I had a bigger ability to set him my assifuna. Was Salamun al Mursalin, well, Hamdulillah, he